Hello everyone, welcome to our presentation about implementing eco-social perspectives into social work practice and the student views on the basis of their field practice experiences. We place this presentation in the uh, steering principle of respect and uh, justice of this People's Global Summit because it's about implementing the SDGs of the United Nations into social work practice and therefore um, a res uh, an answer to the um, challenges of climate change and how social work can actually act on this um, challenge we are all facing. My name is Stefan Bormann, I'm a professor of international social work and um, the content of this presentation is developed together with students of a seminar I will introduce a little bit later in this presentation. Implementing the Sustainable Development Goals into social work education is a challenge which is much written about. But uh, one uh, paper I find um, especially interesting, it's the IFSW policy paper on implementing the SDGs into social work education. And there's one sentence I would like to quote. Uh, it says, to ensure an effective use of the instruments of the UN SDGs, provide to social work and vice versa, it is important to clarify social work's very own definition and understanding of the terms sustainability, development and goals, particularly because social work is giving this mandate to itself. And I think this quote is quite um, important because it's about um, the mandating ourselves as social workers and about um, also the survey users um, views on sustainability, development and goals as uh, developing goals in social work is never a top down process, but always a bottom up process. So what did we at our university to implement the SDGs and social work education and bring this two fields together? I'm from the University of Applied Science in Landshut. Landshut is a, a small city next to Munich in the south of Germany. And for our curriculum in social work education, we developed a model called TOMA. It's about theory, organization, methods and application. And it's actually about bridging the gap between theory and practice in social work um, in certain fields. We call those fields uh, principles of social work. As you can see in the slide um, behind me, the TOMA um, field uh, contains four different principles. It's about culture and diversity, social space, health and well-being, and social inequality and social justice. And what we did is implementing three courses of or on the SDGs in social work, especially with, with regard to climate change, into the curriculum and it's located in the principle of social justice and social inequality. And in the third semester and the fourth semester, we have courses on theory and organization, uh, respective methods of social work about implementing eco-social perspective into social work education. And then as you can see in the fifth semester, it's a field practicum, it's supervised and the students um, are going to social work practice and um, having or making their own experiences uh, and looking very specifically at social work agencies. And then in the sixth semester, they are back at our university. And uh, in that um, semester, we have a course on eco-social perspectives. Um, and it's about the application aspect of this. And behind me, you can see uh, the syllabus or the general themes of the course syllabus on the sixth semester seminar on practical dimensions of eco-social social work and environmental justice. And after an introduction, you can see that there are quite open sessions about analyzing local social work agencies, about ways to improve sustainability and climate justice. And this is what we did in the course together with the students. They analyzed their um, social work agencies. They um, made their field practicum in. Um, and we had three guiding questions, um, as you can see there. One was how to include the natural environment in social work practice. The second, how can social work practice change to reduce its carbon footprint? And how can social work together with its service users reduce negative impacts of climate change? And just one highlight to each questions developed by the students. So the first one, it's about the implementation or inclusion of natural environment into models of social diagnosis. So the second question is about possibly including vegan vegetarian food for service users to change to reduce the um, carbon footprint. And then we have to empower service users to understand their own needs and support collective action. 
Thank you very much. If you have questions, please contact me and we will answer in the comments field.